Hi guys, what's up? It's Tracy here. Today I'll be sharing my interview experience for my summer internship as a machine learning student and giving out tips on how to prepare for different stages of interviews. Before we start, to give you some background information, I am a second year engineering science student at University of Toronto with a major in machine learning. In the past two months, I have been searching for a summer internship and I did about 10 interviews with four different companies and ended up receiving three internship offers from three NASA listed technology companies. So I think it would be very interesting to record this video also to document my first baby step into the industry. And yeah, I can't wait to share my experience with you guys. So I want to start by giving you a general picture of the whole process. You will start by submitting your resume to the different companies and then the company will invite you to do interviews once you've passed your first filter selection. And for the technical roles, generally you will have to do at least three rounds of interviews, but it depends on the size of the company and the position you're interviewing for. A general three rounds interview goes like this. The first one, it will be a coding test. And the second one will be an interview with the vice team leader or just someone that you'll be working with. And the last one will be an interview with the actual team leader or the project manager, it depends on your position. And now I will go through each stage of the interview one by one. The first one is the coding test. This is when you are tasked to solve a programming question under a limited amount of time. Usually it's 30 minutes, but it could be an hour or even longer. And I personally think that this part is the hardest stage of the interview because the interviewer is solely making the decision upon your programming skills. There's a very there's very limited interactions between you and the person who's interviewing you. So really, really, really prepare and study for it. The platform that I use to do practice questions is LeetCode and I really like it because it has a lot of sample questions and forms for people to discuss for solutions so you can actually get really good practice from it. I also recommend timing yourself while doing the practice question just so you can get more comfortable with the intensity of coding within a time limit. The most important thing to note about this part of the interview is that you don't have to be able to solve the question to pass the interview because even though if you can't solve the question, you're still allowed to explain what you're trying to do and just give them a bunch of extra information. This happened to me in one of my interviews. I couldn't actually solve the question fully on the spot, but after I explained my thought process and what I was trying to do there, the interviewer was like, yeah, I see what you're trying to do, this makes sense. In the same interview, I asked the interviewer, what are the qualities that you're looking for in a good programmer? And he said, the ability to solve the question is definitely not a priority. He is looking for people that has a clear logic and good understanding of what they're trying to do. I don't know who this person is, but this really saved me a lot of stress. Be confident about your programming skills and try your best to solve the question. Even if you can't solve it on the spot, explain what you're trying to do. After passing your coding test, it will then be your two interviews with the big men. So it will be your coworker or your vice team lead, a project manager, just anyone that you will be working with. And in these two parts of the interviews, they will be looking at your other qualities and the soft skills. For example, your communication skills, your work ethics, your attitude. However, <laughs> most importantly, they want to see if you will be a good fit for the team and the project. This is really your time to present them yourself as a person, but not just your programming skills. And I consider myself pretty decent at communicating, so personally I found the last two parts of the interviews quite easy to handle. That being said, I still had to study before the two interviews and it definitely helped. So what I did is that I made sure that I went over all the technical details of the projects that I had on my resume. Because in these two rounds of the interviews, they will really go into details of your past experience to see if you have the right skills or experience for the internship. 
but just keep in mind that it's really important that you be yourself and be confident. While you're preparing for your interviews, I want to remind you that this is not going to be easy and I know you're stressed out and I know you feel bad that you have to compromise school for a little bit but guess what? It happens to all of us. I remember before my first coding test, I was so stressed out. I couldn't even go to school for a whole entire week and all I did was lead code from 9 to 10. But guess what? I ended up passing the interview, so I think that's a W. I was also doing interviews in between my finals. When classes were still in person, one of my friends had to skip an actual exam to do an in-person interview with this company in a different city. You know, but it's all going to be worth it at the end, so don't feel bad that you have to compromise schools or other events for a little bit. So that's it for today's video. I hope you feel a little bit more prepared and confident after watching this, and I wish you the best of luck. Before next time, I'll see you for now. Oh, okay.